Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. So I'm sorry I've been missing off YouTube for the past month or so. A lot has been going on and I've done a little update on my blog. If you want to check it out, I'll link it below. Um, that explains what's been going on with my life lately. Anyway, so today's video is going to be my May favourites and what I've been loving in so May. Last month my skin had a bit of a breakout. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the products I was using because I was trying new products out at the time or if it was due to the weather change so or like the weather being quite hot lately going from freezing cold to boiling hot my weather uh, my skin does tend to break out a little um, so I ended up going out and buying a few products to help me with my um, skin and helping it repair as well so I bought these two products together and this is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Purifying Makella Marcella Solution I'm not sure how you say that which looks like this, it's basically like um, the Bioderma it, you wet the um, cotton pad and remove your makeup with it I actually prefer this over the Bioderma one because it's cheaper and two I don't have, the, have to use as much of this as I do with the Bioderma, I find with the Bioderma I have to use about one, no, about two or three um, co cotton pa uh, cotton pads, but with this I only use about two, um, sometimes actually one, which I find really, really good. It actually really is really good at removing um, waterproof mascara as well, so I've been really liking that. I also bought this L'Oreal Skin Perfection Radiance Revealing Gentle Exfoliator and I've been using this every day for the past three to f uh, yeah about three to four weeks. Um, I've been using this mainly in the evening so after I've taken my makeup off I normally cleanse my, um, wash my face with this. It's really good because it has um, microbeads in it and it helps me with uh, my dry skin as well. It's not too harsh so I've been really liking I've that. got another two items for my skincare routine which I've been loving as well and this is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask which my boyfriend also loves as well. <laughs> my boyfriend actually uses this more than I do so I bought this about two months ago and I used it once and it weren't that good and then when my skin broke out last month I ended up using this maybe about two or three times a week and it really really helped. Um, it's basically an overnight mask, you put it on before you go to bed um, and you wake up, well I woke up anyway, looking really f refreshed and my skin looked a lot better. So I've been using that as well. For my last skincare product, I've been loving this deep cleansing oil by DHC, which has re recommended by a few other bloggers, as I um, tweeted if they had any recommendations for any oil type products that helps remove your makeup anyway. And I've been using this every single day for the past week, and I've been loving it. Uh, I'm thinking about purchasing another bottle as well, seeing as though I'm used that much in a week so yeah and I've really been really liking this it actually works so much better than the Bioderma and this even though I use this more on my lazier days um, it works so much better than face wipes um, Bioderma everything I really really like this for makeup I've only really been loving one um, product for the face <laughs> And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Illuminate Bronzing Powder, which I reviewed on my blog, I think, about a year and a half ago. So I've had this about a year for about a year and a half now, and I've only just hit pan, which looks like this. And it's basically a matte bronzer with slight shimmer in it, and it's really, really Not nice. Only is this a really good bronzer, it's also really great for contouring as well. So I've been using that. For lipsticks and lip products, I've been loving the Revlon Lip Butter in Juicy Papaya. And I recently bought this, I think last month I bought this, and I've been wearing it every single day since. And I normally apply this on top of the... MAC Cream Cup. So I normally apply this first and then apply the Juicy Papaya Revlon Lip Butter on top, which is what I'm wearing today, even though it's kind of rubbed off a bit. 
So I've been loving those the two. The next product is a perfume, which I've been loving. And this is Flora by Gucci. Gorgeous Gardenia. I got this wrong in my last video, so. Um, and it's one of those scents that just reminds you of summer and being on the beach and going on holidays. I just really, really like this scent. I have one hair product which I've been loving, and this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Shine Deep Treatment. And I used to use this all the time, and then... Um, I stopped using it, I think, because Aussie just got so expensive. I think they're about seven ninety nine for the shampoo and then £7.99 for the conditioner. And then, God knows how much this was. I think this was £5 for this. Um, but they had a deal going on in Tesco's where it was three for two. So I got the shampoo, conditioner and this. So I got this one for free. So my last beauty favourite is this model's own head candy nail polish in Beach Party which looks like this and I'm actually wearing it today uh, even though my nails are a bit chipped so that's what it looks like on and I've been wearing this nail polish religiously lately it's ridiculous how much I love this nail polish I've been wearing just this nail polish for the past month which is crazy seeing as I normally paint my nails every two or three days. I normally switch the colour up, but I haven't been bored of this nail colour yet, so I've been loving that. My last favourite is actually a fashion favourite, and this is the Zara Shopper bag, which looks like that. I bought it around the middle of May, and I've been using it every single day since I've fallen completely and madly in love with it. It's such a nice bag, it's so summery, and it just makes you feel really happy. So that's that. Now, a lot of people have asked me to do my favourite song of the month so I'll be doing that and my favourite song of the month sadly enough is Psy Gentleman um it's just one of those songs just it was like Gangnam Style it was I heard Gangnam Style and I absolutely hated it and then it got really popular and I loved it so <laughs> and that was what gent it was the same as Gentleman as well I really hated it to start off with and now I love it so I don't know what that's about um so yes, I'll link Sai Gentleman down below for you to listen if you haven't already. So that was my May favourites. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any video requests, please do leave them below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.